Hi guys, I'm back with a quick update on how you can connect your Legends Gamer Pro or your Gamer Mini to your PC to run Core Type R or Point Ops. I'll be running Core Type R where it emulates an Xbox 360 controller. My problem is when I would run X360 CE, both joysticks would be seen by Windows and it confuses Coin Ops and Core Type R because it sees both game pads. You'll see as uh, Xbox 360 launches, you'll see where it will show four joysticks, the two emulated um, Xbox 360 controllers and then the two USB controllers for the two axis 24 button. And when Windows sees this, it confuses Coin Ops or Core, core Type R. So to resolve that, so you can see which USB devices are connected, go to the Windows search and type game controllers. Let me zoom in here for you, sorry about that. So in Windows, search controllers. And you want to launch setup USB game controllers, which I already have open here. See, I have my Legends Gamer Pro connected, and I have X360 CE launched. I already have it all mapped. Buttons are working, but Windows sees it as four controllers: two for player one and two for player two. And when I launch Core Type R, it confuses everything. Sometimes this will be uh, my player two joystick will be player one and my buttons will be on the player one side it won't be a and b it won't be mapped properly um, back back button doesn't seem to work so to solve this you have to install x360 ce set up both controller one and controller two by using the add button you want to search for your usb devices and this takes some trial and error because the gamer pro has two controllers basically two joysticks so you have to pick one of these two axis 24 button game pads and see which one is player one and which one's player two to match up with your joystick, which I've already done that. So controller one is working, all the buttons are mapped. And when I switch to controller two, my controller two side and my gamer pro are all mapped. The next step you'll want to do once you have your buttons, so your controller one and controller two mapped, Every button's mapped and laid out as you want it. Let's go into Options. And under HID Guardian, you want to configure automatically and then install this driver for HID Guardian. Once that's done, you will want to go into Devices. And within here, you'll see your two controllers for the Gamer Pro, 24, two axis, 24 button game pads. You want to check Hi. The thing that I was having trouble with getting this to register is I wasn't being patient enough to let it register or not knowing that I had to go in each time you launch once you have this set up and this saved to where these two controllers are hidden is you have to go click on in this devices tab HID Guardian and say synchronize to HID Guardian. Watch what happens when I do that. Because I have my two joysticks selected. It will now hide the USB joysticks from the list. Now this will take time because right now it's actually going through the whole setup again. The controllers are not fully connected. So you want to wait. And this is the part that was kind of messing me up is you have to wait for this to re-register and verify it's working before you launch coin ops or core type R. Just give it some time for X360 to do its thing. And then test. Controller 1 is working and controller 2, two is working. And I'll launch core type R and all my buttons will be mapped to mimic an X360 controller. This D is back. I have all my controls. Go ahead and launch Arcane game, main. I always test with 1941, but it's kind of frustrating because it takes so long for it to load. 
we'll give it a minute. I'd like to thank uh, Buy Stuff Store for helping me go back down this rabbit hole with X360CE. You know, I showed another way using White Knight application. They asked the question, why aren't you using X360CE if it has that capability? Well, when I was trying it before, it just never seemed to work properly. But now I know I have to go back into the app once it's connected and say synchronize HID so it actually hides them again. And then wait for it to reconnect. And that was the frustrating part. It was, wasn't seen to work before, but now it's working consistently. Let's add some coins, start the game. And here we go. A is my fire. B. Working properly, and I can exit out. Back is player one start. And back on out. I hope this helps um, somebody. It was uh, frustrating to go through this and try to figure it out, but now it works consistently. Just the one app, X360CE. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.